My name is Arta Kwam, and I am an elementary reading teacher. In this lesson, I will show you how I teach parts of words. This is called onset and rhyme. Before I teach rhyming, I would start by explaining to students that there are two parts of words, the onset and the rhyme. I would tell them that the onset is the first sound or sounds of any word, and that the rhyme is the rest of the word. Let's look at the word cat. The onset of cat is k. The rhyme of cat is at. K, at, cat. Let's look at another word. Block. The onset is Bull. The rhyme is ock. Bull, ock, block. To start practicing, we would sit together so I can hear their voices easily and the students can more easily mirror my gestures. Then we would start practicing by hearing each part of the word and putting them together. While doing this, I would use gestures to help them visualize the construction of a word. Using one hand to represent onset and the other to represent rhyme, I would say k, at. The students would repeat k, at. Together we would say cat and move our fists together representing the word. We would continue with more words. Say b, o, put them together, bo. Say g, earl, put them together, girl. Say tur, e, put them together, tree. The next step would be to practice them the opposite way, giving students the word and having them separate the onset and rhyme. Say broom, break it apart, brr, oom. Um. Say boy, break it apart, b, oy. Say cake, break it apart, k, ache. So that is how I teach onset and rhyme, a skill that is needed to better understand rhyming.